Hey, good morning. Thanks so much for joining me on this quick video devotional called Sunday Remix. Um, I'm out here on my porch. It's crispy this morning. Uh, I'm uh, recording this on Friday this week, right before I send out the newsletter. But I just wanted to um, share some thoughts based off of last Sunday's message as I'm getting ready for this Sunday's message. And, um, you know, we, we're talking about some heavy topics. We're talking about some um, real um, de divisive topics in our culture, right? And so, um, but it's important, it's so important for us as believers, as Christ followers, to have a biblical understanding for why we believe what we believe, and then to be able to launch out of that. And so this last week, obviously, we talked about the topic of homosexuality and what the Bible says about that and what the Bible says about marriage. But then also that um, Paul, the Apostle Paul, says, hey, some of you are like this, and this idea that there's grace for everyone. The Lord welcomes everyone. Um, there's no judgment. There's no condemnation in Christ Jesus. And so we want to be a church that loves, that welcomes, but also points people to God's truth. And uh, this week we're going to be talking about uh, gender identity. We're going to be talking about um, the, the hard-hitting topic of our day, uh, really that's facing a lot of uh, young families because of our school systems and different things like that, the political agendas out there. But um, really want to focus in this morning on 1 Corinthians chapter 6, right at the end of 1 Corinthians chapter 6, the Apostle Paul writes this, Don't you realize that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit who lives in you? Your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit who lives in you and was given to you by who? By God. It's a gift from God that we have the temple, we have the Holy Spirit residing in us and therefore our body is considered as a temple. He goes on to say this, you do not belong to yourself for God bought you with a price, a high price. So you must honor God with your body. And this Sunday, we're going to be talking about um, our culture and our society and a, a, a great move in our thinking when it comes to a low view of the body. But as Christians, as believers, we have a high view of the body. And so this scripture really pulls that out of there. Don't you realize that your body, our physical dwelling, is a temple of the Holy Spirit? And we're called to honor God with it. And so this is not only in our sexual orientation, this is not only in um, our, our relationships, but it's also in our everyday. Like, are you taking care of the temple of the Holy Spirit? And that covers a, a multitude of areas, right? Our eating habits, our physical fitness, our, uh, our, are we doing anything that damages our health intentionally that we could uh, remove from our lives? And so... Um, our bodies are the temple of the Holy Spirit, and we're called to honor God with it. We're called to, uh, to host His presence in us and allow Him to use us for His purposes. And therefore, we, we must take care of this temple. We must take care of this body. And so, um, you know, as we're, as we're talking about uh, these, these topics of gender identity and homosexuality, we can't separate... The idea, the, the reality that God places a high view on our physical self. He places a high value on it. So much so that he invests and he uh, dispenses his Holy Spirit to reside in it, to take up residence in our, in our body. And so we have to take care of that. We can't, we can't say, oh, our bodies don't matter. Uh, we, can't, we can't go down that trail as believers because right here in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, Paul, the Apostle Paul, tells us he commissions us uh, to take care of our body and so I just want to challenge you with that today I want to encourage you to um, be be thinking be praying be asking the Lord Lord is there anything that I'm doing that's not taking care of this temple is there anything that needs to go is there any changes that need to be made but also when it comes to these topics of marriage of uh, gender identity of abortion, these these different things, we need to understand, come from a, a place of understanding that God has required of us to take care 
of our body. It's not a separate issue. It's not something that doesn't matter to him. It matters a whole lot to him. And so I pray this blesses you today. I can't wait to see you this Sunday. It's going to be a great time in the presence of the Lord. Make sure to invite somebody. Uh, you never know what God could do through a message like this. But uh, looking forward to seeing you and uh, hope you have a great weekend. God bless.